heal the system with love songs. Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah, you go. The system. That's the ultimate, that is the ultimate, the vibration, of, this is my belief. The entire, uh, and you know, and I've, I've talked to uh, people that, you know, super string, you know, as such a as low level, and then the, the level below that, why are the strings vibrating? Well, there's a, what I believe is that love is the energy, it, it is the most powerful force in the universe because everything is structured from that pure vibration. Period. Period. <laughs> but you know what happens is like God, when you say God, everybody has a different version of what God is. Love, you get in trouble. Yeah, and love, love, what do you mean by love? Right. You know, but if you yeah. get to that, the most pure state of what love is, yeah. that's what everything is. Right. Yeah. Has science been <laughs> able to measure the vibration, the energy of love? Oh, I don't know about measure. Or, or, or uh, to... But how do you isolate it to measure it? Uh, uh, yeah. Because that's everything it. is love anyway. It's just well, a different form of love. Yeah. But, but the only aberration is hate and fear. But that's just a lower vibration of love. It's not the opposite people think it is. Well, it's, it's just a lower vibration. <laughs> aberration. You're speaking her language. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling him there's no opposite, it's just another aspect That's, of the same thing. Well, so you take white light. What is white light? See, I've, I've, I've done stuff with pigments. What is, what is white? It's an absence of pigment. It's an absence of color. It's what is black? Dye and pigment. It's all colors, all the color. right? But when you look at light, it's the exact opposite. Right. What uh, is white? Is white. A combination is of every, and, and the whiter the light, the brighter the light, the more colors. That's God. It's, it's everything. And the more you put in, the brighter and the whiter it gets. Why is that the opposite with the dye? Because the dye absorbs and reflects. So you, that's why you're getting the opposite effect. It's absorbing it all and reflect, you know, it's the, that's why... Black, it, black absorbs everything and white reflects everything. Right, so that's why it, it seems like a dichotomy, but it's not. But when you look at the light aspect of it, that's why. Mm -hmm. Because it's every color, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so it's the same thing with love. It's a pure... It's a pure so when you, when you break it down as to hate, or fear or anger, it's just another, it's in the rainbow of what that white light is, it's just another aspect. It might be a, yeah. you know, the wavelengths might be, yeah. you know, really muddy. And well, maybe the question slow. is, how do we package love like we package food, like we package uh, beverages? You can't do that. I mean, I mean how do we... Uh... Well, people have tried water. You know, it's the water, it's the water, it's the water. You know, there's all these, these right? So put your attention in the water, and that, that's one aspect of it. Smart water. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, what can science do, yeah. Ralph, to just accelerate love coming back to all of us? It's the laser, man. Just get everybody in, in your <laughs> sights from space and just shoot everybody with love. What, what, I mean, how do you see it? <laughs> uh, well, uh, personally, I'm a big fan of the vibration theory of the vibration metaphor. And we know about vibrations from, uh, like, the water, or the surf, or... Uh, swimming pool, you pat the surface, it makes these waves. Yeah. And uh, we know about the light and the prism and the vibrations of atomic vibrations and there are all these different fields, right? The gravitational vibrations, electromagnetic vibrations, and the mechanical vibrations and, and, and so on. So I think uh, the vibrations that we're talking about, which have to do with mental fields and so on, are none of the physical fields. That those are useful as metaphors to teach us to think about, mm -hmm. to give us a language to talk about. On the material plane, yeah. On the material plane. Mm -hmm. But that is uh, entirely other dimensions where the, uh, the mental feels, uh, the love uh, energy, so called, and so on, that's a, it's another thing. Yeah. And it's the one of the physical fields that science didn't discover yet. So scientists have to deny the existence of telepathy because there's no explanation for it, or like. Uh, but quantum physics now has math for it. So depending on if you're doing the, you know, 26 dimensions, then you can say, oh, but we have math to prove all of these little yeah. anomalies now. Yeah. So but it depends on your math, you know. So it's getting closer to provability. Well, that's, uh, math is a indirect thing. We can yeah. make a mathematical model for anything. Yeah. But as far as physics is concerned what they can measure right, right. doesn't include what we're talking about. How do you measure and something with an instrument that... Telepathy doesn't exist mm -hmm. for the scientist because they haven't been able to measure that field. So, so that, we are talking about um, 
phenomenon that science discover, didn't discover yet, and therefore they deny its existence, no. which is part of the problem. Well, paranormal phenomena, okay, telepathy, precognitive dreams, astrology, homeopathy, all of these things, science has no mechanism for it, so they deny the existence of it. Anecdotal evidence. And we uh, have our own experience of these things, so we can't accept scientists telling us it doesn't exist. Like I have precognitive dreams. Mm -hmm. you don't tell me precognitive dreams don't exist. Mm -hmm. How do they happen? Well, I think that scientists are right that uh, precognitive dreams don't fit in with their theory. Mm -hmm. See, their theory has the past and the future are separated by a sharp knife, as it were. <laughs> and that things instantaneously change from the future into the past mm -hmm. by a kind of freezing, like condensation, like jello, you know. Uh. So if they were right, then the future is completely undetermined. And then we can't get a message from the future, like a precognitive dream. It's like somebody in the future saying, hey, watch out, there's a truck around the corner. Uh. Slow down your car, there's a truck around the corner across the road. Uh. You know, the precognitive thing is like an email from the future. So science is not the place to look for the validation of our ideas. They follow, they don't lead. We have our experience, and the consciousness is primary. The science comes later. That's how I explain the fact that, you know, science says that we're crazy. I could go into, you know, a room full of my fellow professors at the university, but I mention the word astrology, they're out the door. <laughs> they can't stand Even it, they have to attack. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So has, crazy. has science attempted to examine the greatest power on earth, love? I don't know well, what it is. Science is, is a group of people, and certainly there are some people who, who have uh, tried to deal with this idea. But they have, uh, you know, science has big problems on the front of, frontier of science. They have uh, things that have been stalled for 25 years. There's no progress, they're struggling with science fiction, you know, this mm -hmm. idea and that, and they do not understand uh, quantum mechanics. Could, mm -hmm. could, could we ask like, you, Ralph, to um, lead, lead this renewed effort? To <laughs> yeah, Ralph, you got a little mission. <laughs> yeah, just no put it on the funding. list, but no put funding. it up higher, you know? Yeah. Please, uh, you're sorry, a this is what I've been doing with my whole life. That's, that's who you are, Ralph. So that's, oh, I'm already there, you know, that's what I'm talking to you about. You're yeah. leading the charge. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not Always. leading the charge, but I'm working in the neglected areas. Yes. And it's not science. What I do is I make mathematical models for things, okay. like telepathy, mm -hmm. in the, w with the hope that if there's a mathematical problem, then people can understand the model, and then they can see how it might work. Mm -hmm. So they get their personal experience validated by a mathematical model. Wow instead of a community of orthodox scientists saying, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. But uh, science doesn't know things, you know. Everything right. is uh, up for grabs. Conjecture and experimentation. Yeah. How do you experiment on something that's non-physical with physical objects? You know, yeah. physical machine. So yeah. paranormal research is a field of study. Yeah. Some whacked out scientists do it, like my friend Rupert Sheldrake. Yeah, oh, and he does experiments on telepathy. Works. So, so far out this guy because his his idea is uh, physics of angels. We need, yeah, we need, yeah. You're well read. <laughs> Let the master talk. We are.